I'm going to be looking at um, how Vedic division can be used for generating car series. And in particular, um, what I'll do at the beginning is to recap of uh, Parawalcha division, transpose and adjust, and the backwards version. Then um, I'll look at two um, A-level questions using uh, division for binomial expansions. <clears throat> for those who don't know, A-level is the, are the A-level exams are the pre-university exams in the UK, and uh, normally uh, students take uh, three or four subjects uh, at A-level, um, and the, uh, the exams are, are, are quite tough, I don't think that, in fact, I don't think they're as hard as the, the equivalent exams in India, which are uh, grade 12. Nevertheless, we'll, we'll have a look at two, two problems there. And then finally, um, I'll be looking at how to add up all the positive integers. So, um, which is something that is quite uh, mind boggling. Um, it'll stretch your, stretch your brains uh, a bit. Um, so let's uh, recap first on Paravacha uh, division. And uh, as an initial example, we'll look at dividing x cubed plus 5x minus 7 by x plus 2. Uh, this is set up as follows. So um, using transpose and adjust, we transpose the, uh, the plus 2 and just do the division by uh, x. You will see that we've, I've added in 0x squared into the uh, cubic because that is missing and that is necessary in order for the system to work. And uh, x into x cubed goes x squared. You then multiply that first answer term x squared by minus 2 and write it in the next column. Add up and divide by x gives minus 2x and then multiply minus 2x times minus 2 is plus 4x. Add up and divide by x gives plus 9. 9 times minus 2 is minus 18, and add up for the remainder. So that's the basic uh, method that uh, Tiritachi describes. Um, a bit further on in, the, uh, in that chapter, he shows, um, he shows the same method, but without bothering to write down the... Um, x squared, x, and so on, you will see here he's just used the coefficients, and that just makes things uh, a bit quicker. Because um, we can understand that when you're in the x squared column, you're in the x squared column, when you're in the x column, you're in the x column, and so on. So there's no, not an absolute need to write down uh, everything, and, and he does it like that. Now, the next step is the uh, oh, dividing by a quadratic, and this is uh, very similar, and this time we transpose the two terms after the x squared into minus 3 and plus 1, and then proceed as uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with, and arrive at the answer. The reverse version of uh, Parawacha um, the backwards version, so to speak. Um, we'll have a look at 1 divided by x plus 1. And we can treat this as 1 divided by 1 plus x, of course. And here, uh, the, um, the dividend, 1, is written as 1 plus 0x plus 0x squared, and so on. <clears throat> and here, transposing the plus x into minus x, 1 uh, divides into 1 uh, gives 1, and then 1 times minus x gives minus 1x in the second column. Add up and divide by 1, and then multiply. Minus x times minus x gives plus 1x squared. Add up and divide by 1, and so on. And we arrive at the power series, 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed uh, plus x to the 4, and so on. So here the... The, the, uh, the division is, is reversed, so we're starting with the, uh, the numbers, um, we're starting with x to the power of 0, <clears throat> and then working upwards. 
Now, um, let's have a look at an A-level question. Here it is. Um, 2x squared plus 5x minus 10 over x minus 1 times x plus 2 is equal to a plus b over x minus 1 plus c over x plus 2. Find the values of the constants a, b, and c. So this is dividing the fraction up into partial fractions. Then it says, hence or otherwise, expand that fraction in ascending powers of x as far as the term in x squared. Give each coefficient as a simplified fraction. And I'm going to look at the various ways in which um, uh, the, the part B of this question can be done. Now note that the number of marks given for the uh, whole question is uh, 11, and the time in which these uh, students have to answer the whole question is about 13 and a half minutes. So section B is meant to take eight and a half minutes, um, but I'll show you that in fact the, the Wadic method for solving that will take about two minutes, which is which is good. So we'll start with um, start with part A, and this this is the, the conventional method here. The normal method is to add the three fractions together and then. Uh, cancel out the denominators, and we arrive at this. So, <clears throat> on adding the three fractions on the right, we arrive at this uh, second line where 2x squared plus 5x minus 10 is equal to a function of uh, a, b, and c. And um, that, so the numerators are equated. And the sutra, when the total is the same, it is zero, enables the cancellation of the denominators so that we can just, enum uh, just equate the, the two numerators. <coughs> and since this is an identity, it's true for all values of x. And therefore, it's true for any particular value of x which is an application of the Vyashti Samashti Sutra, uh, general, uh, particular in general. So we can choose uh, values of x that we want and evaluate the two sides of the equations, uh, equation and thereby arrive the, at the values for b, c and a. And that completes the first part of the, of the problem. Now, the, um, the second part of the problem is the one I want to concentrate more on. And the, we'll first look at the conventional method for uh, dealing with these three um, terms. The uh, binomial expansion for minus 1 over x minus 1, uh, the first the first thing is to express it as 1 minus x to the power of minus 1, and then use the binomial expansion formula to arrive at the uh, expansion 1 plus x plus x squared, and so on. And then uh, we have to evaluate 4 over x plus 2. And uh, putting this into the correct format, uh, as 2 times 1 plus a half x to the power of minus 1. And then applying the binomial formula, which is quite complicated, a little bit complicated, gives 2 minus x plus a half x squared. So that part requires, initially requires some manipulation from 4 over x plus 2. We need to get the 2 as a 1. And so dividing top and bottom of the fraction by 2 gives 2 over 1 plus a half x. And then the binomial expansion formula can be applied. So what about the, um, a, a more direct method for dealing with that fraction? Uh, well, first of all, we've got to, to finish off, we've got to add 
these two series together, together with the two at the beginning, and the result is five minus three over two x squared. <clears throat> Okay, so how are we going to do it by division? First of all, um, I've expanded the brackets in the denominator, giving x squared plus x minus 2. And then written the whole thing backwards, uh, changing the sign on the top and bottom to make it easier. Uh, so the fraction then becomes 10 minus 5x minus 2x squared over 2 minus x minus x squared. We can then just apply the division algorithm and get the answer in, mm, uh, very quickly, like this. <clears throat> and uh, that is uh, uh, certainly much more efficient than um, doing the uh, answer that, uh, that, than the previous method. And given that, that part of the question, um, you're allowed eight and a half minutes. That's the time expected uh, it, will, it will take by the conventional method. This method, I reckon, takes about two minutes. And that's really important in these A-level exams, to be able to save time doing a question. Um, because uh, with hard questions, the students sometimes get stuck and they can't see their way through a problem and so within a matter of a few minutes they may be looking at losing a grade in their exam if they lose a grade in their exam they might be saying goodbye to a university place so they these exams are are critical and important for them and wherever there are methods that can save time they they ought to be uh, they ought to be used <clears throat> another um, another A level problem is this: use the binomial series to find the expansion of uh, one over two plus five x cubed in ascending powers of x, um, etc. <clears throat> so, what uh, I've done here is use the conventional method, starting with 1 over 2 plus 5x cubed. First of all, the, that 2 has to come out, um, making 1 over 8 times 1 plus 5 halves x all cubed. And then, because, since there's now a 1 at the start of that binomial bracket, we can apply the binomial formula. and um, the result is 1 8 minus 15 16 x and so on. <clears throat> Students usually struggle with that first step and uh, that's where they will, uh, generally I find that they, they lose the most marks in, um, in, in in that first step. In fact, this um, this question was in last year's A-level uh, exam. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the para voucher method. Uh, first of all, just going back to re refresh ourselves of the the fraction one over two plus five x all cubed. The first step using the Parallel Watcher method would be to ex is to expand the denominator and then just divide it into the number one. In expanding the denominator, we can use the uh, Tiritage's method for cubing numbers, for cubing two-digit numbers, by setting down the first term um, the cube of the first term is 8, so 2 cubed is 8. And then using the ratio 5 over 2, we apply that to 8 and get 20, apply it to 20 and get 50, apply it to 50 and get 125. The last term will be the cube of 5. And then by doubling the middle two terms, we have 40 and 100, 
and then um, summing up, we get 80, 60, 150, and 125. And those four numbers are the coefficients of the um, binomial expansion of 2 plus 5x cubed. Um, <coughs> So students can do it that way or just apply the binomial expansion formula whichever way they like. I, I just particularly like this, uh, this method. So then we need to divide um, 8 plus 60x plus 150x squared plus 125x cubed into 1 and the result is as shown. In this particular question, the fractions are quite tricky. Um, the large numbers are involved, but it's just um, just arithmetic. I should point out here, though, also that there is another method of doing this expansion, which is to use uh, the calculus method, and I'll show you this next. Here we have 2 plus 5x to the power of minus 3. The calculus method, um, many of you, uh, I, some of you will have seen this before, is where you write down the first term to the power of uh, to the power of minus 3 and the second term to the power of 0. And then we successively differentiate this uh, first term and successively integrate the second term. So the next term is down by uh, this rather naughty calculus, differentiate 2 to the power of minus 3 with respect to 2, and it's minus 3 times 2 to the power of minus 4. Integrate 5x to the power of 0 is 5x to the power of 1. The following term, uh, differentiate again, resulting in minus 4 times minus 3 times 2 to the power of minus 5, and then integrate 5x to the power of 1 with respect to 5x, giving 5x squared over 2 and proceed in like manner and uh, get the result. That, in fact, might be a, a, an easier way of, of, of approaching the, the problem uh, anyway. So um, that concludes those, that part of the workshop on those two A-level problems. And I teach, teach this to the, the students I, I work with. I teach these methods. Um, but because the what I what I do find is because the textbooks don't have these methods in them, the students tend to rely on the methods in the textbooks, which they can uh, that they seem to trust those methods more. And I keep saying to them, in order to use this method or the division method, you, they have to practice, practice, practice in order to get uh, get the hang of it. Now, finally, um, we'll look at adding up all the positive integers. And what you are about to see was discovered by one of the 20th century's most brilliant mathematicians, uh, Srinivasa Ramanujan. So I'm going to, and the idea is that we're going to add up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to plus infinity and find out what the answer is and um, the way I'm going to start this is by looking at what the expansion of 1 over 1 plus x all squared which is 1 over 1 plus 2x plus x squared using this uh, method of division and on doing that we find the answer is 1 minus 2x plus 3x squared minus 4x cubed and so on. And that's a nice easy division to do. The next step is to say let x equal 1. So the fraction that we started with 1 over 1 plus x all squared becomes 1 over 2 squared which is a quarter. And the expansion <clears throat> as a result of the division becomes 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on. 
And that um, may seem rather strange, that one quarter should be the sum of all that, but the, um, the algebra is there for you to uh, see. Uh, it, is, it is true. So the next step is this, that um, our target is to find the sum of all the numbers starting from one, uh, all the whole numbers starting from one. So I've said, uh, let s equal 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on. <clears throat> I then write down 4s. So 4s is 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16 and so on. And I've written it underneath like that because the next step is to subtract the second equation from the first equation. So we arrive at s minus 4, s is minus 3s is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 and so on. <clears throat> minus 6 will be next. Um, and then saying, right, well, we've just seen that, haven't we? We've seen that 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on is equal to 1 quarter. And therefore, minus 3s equals 1 quarter, from which 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals minus 1 twelfth. So the sum of all the integers from 1 up to infinity comes out to be minus 1 twelfth, which is a result that um, Ramanujan came up with. <coughs> and uh, it, um, <laughs> how should we say, uh, it, it, um, it's not something that would, uh, it, it's difficult to rationalize about this, but the, the, the maths is there. Now, what's uh, one of the most intriguing things is that this, this result, this result is actually used as one of the principles in string theory. So it is, it is not, um, it, it, it is not uh, wholly false, so to speak. Um, Anyway, there's, there's a lot of debate about this particular result, and um, I, I just find it absolutely mind-boggling. Um, but the, the, the maths is there, and it's fairly straightforward. So that's the end of my uh, workshop.